Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Fertherwin and welcome back to another Halloween special video. This is, I think, the third or fourth video that I've done here on the channel of this specific video that I do every single year, every single Halloween, where we play one hour of a scary game. Two years ago, I did Outlast 2. Um, last year, I played a game called Scorn, and today I decided that I wanted to play a game called Amnesia the Bunker, or Amnesia, yeah, am, yeah, Amnesia, Amnesia, whatever, the Bunker, which I have heard a lot of really good things about this game. I think this game, and it's all, this game also came out really, really um, not that long ago, which is also very, very cool. But yeah, again, the rule is that I play one hour of this scary game, and that's basically the gist of the video. Uh, play a scary game once a year. And it's always a lot of fun. I did I did actually play a horror game not too long ago. I did a Callisto, Callisto Protocol walkthrough a few... Well, actually, it was last year at some point. But anyways, I'm really, really looking forward to jumping into this. I'm not expecting this to get a lot of views. Just as kind of a Halloween fun video that I always like to upload. Um, while there is plenty of things that you can do Halloween-related in Call of Duty, I figured that the best thing to do for a Halloween-themed video is to play a scary game. So without further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump into Amnesia the Bunker. I should also make it clear, though, that my rule is that with a video like this, it is one hour of game time, not an hour of cutscenes, an hour of game time. So just wanted to make that clear. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump into this now. Definitely looking, definitely curious to see how scary this game is. And let's, without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Okay, we'll go ahead and play on normal. Perfect. Video distortion effects. Um, I guess I'll leave that on. Yeah, we'll put that on as well. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Okay, so we can't press X to bring out or put away the gun. Okay. Press and hold RB to move. LS. Left or right to lean. Okay. Okay. We we'll just jumped right into this game. Press LB while moving to run. Okay. Now, how do I open this door? Um. Okay, apparently I can't open the door. Alright then. I mean, it, it definitely will let you. Okay, so A, that's not working. X, that's not working either. Y, B, R, B, L, B. Wait a minute, let me go back. It did say something right there. Okay, hold on, let me check the controls. I don't know why it's not letting me open that door. That's weird. Controller mapping. Inventory, open menu, interact. Use equip item. Okay. Open, open doors and containers first, interacting with them. Oh, there we go, okay, perfect. Okay, nice, got it. Hold down to check how many bullets you got. Oh, okay, so it gives you one at a time. Gotcha. 
Now, I believe that I did watch a... I believe that I did watch... Oh, okay, there's LT while holding. Maybe I actually have to throw this at, at it. Okay, there we go. Nice. Using okay, using right on the D-pad. Oh jeez! Ouch! We're good. You can take quite a bit of damage there, but I think we're fine. You've been injured, hold, see how bad it is. Okay. I keep you coming from up here! I keep pushing forward! Okay, I'm sure that there's a way for you to heal in this game. An item that can be used for crafting. Pick up the other cloth piece and press to access your inventory page and combine the two cloth items to create. Okay, that's okay. Okay, we'll do that. And. Hold down LT. Okay, we can just do that. Man, I can see when this game. Starts getting scary when this is gonna get really intense really fast. Okay, can I grab any more cloth around here? Especially with these controls that are. Oh, nice, you can go under the table. Sweet. I think it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. I guess I have to throw a grenade at this thing. Um, go to my inventory. There we go. Over here, I can grab. Yep, that's gonna be useful. Where's the object? Okay. Very cool. This game hasn't been scary at all yet. I forgot, I forgot how to reload. Um, let me go back to the controls here. Okay, controller mapping, toggle flashlight, toggle gun. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's hold down X and then press RT. All right. Now this is yes! Oh crap. Oh no. Am 
I dead, or was that supposed to happen? It is so fast, fast. We will die on your We make it out of this hell together. You follow me. We're nearly there. Okay, sweet. I was like, I knew that that was supposed to happen. <laughs> Beat that roll, my friend. There you have it, huh? Ah, fate's a bastard. I'm on patrol tonight, then. C'est la vie. Okay. This looks like a little bit scarier of an atmosphere. Definitely creepier. Just hold on to me. Okay. So we have to head this way. Adapt, experiment, and survive. Here we are. I believe now this is the point where this game will get a little bit scarier. Okay, so all I can do is just pick that up. Okay, I can't open it. Same thing goes for this. Yeah. Hmm, okay. So we have a note here. All the notes you picked up can be found under the notes tab of your inventory. Amnesia cause. Um, I'll just leave that there. So you guys can feel free to read that if you would like to. I'll probably read that when I watch the video back like I always do. But I know, but I know that this is not Call of Duty content. Which normally I would upload on my second channel, but... But I always do my Halloween specials on my main channel because they just seem to be a little bit more fun to do. 
Um, okay, let's see if there's anything of note over here before we leave this area. Okay, the pencil is obviously not going to be too useful for us. Now, do I still... What do I have in my inventory? Nothing. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Now, I wonder what the... Ooh, flashlight. Press Y to bring out or put away the flashlight. Hold down to charge the flashlight, but be careful not to make too much noise. Okay, we got ourselves another note here. Man, I'm gonna that's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. The fact that the interact button July, is an A. Seventeen hundred hours. I'm in a state of agony. It cripples my body, captures my mind, bleeds my soul. This thing I have done, this thing, this thing. It is lunch in the mess hall currently. Oh, the thought of eating repulses me. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if there are actually a controls option that does have things a little bit more normal. RS to crouch. No. Okay, I think we'll just play the classic route. All right, here we go. If you don't want to make too much noise, that must mean that something is going to be after us here in this game, which is extremely reassuring, of course. Okay, I feel like I'm supposed to go that way, but yeah, okay. Is this locked? Gotta go this way now. Part of me thinks I have to go that way. Can I break it? and charge the flashlight here. And into this dark hole we go. Wait. I'm not supposed to go down there? Somewhere in the excavation site. Get them, and you can make it out. Shit. That thing, it's coming for me. Here, take this. Finish me off, please. I want to die at the hands of a broader soldier, not that monster. There's ammo in the pantry. Get it. Do the job, please. Okay. Which pantry is it? I have a feeling I know what's going to happen here. 
from, you know, the very limited amount of horror games I've played. Okay, again, this will take a little bit of getting, getting used to for this first episode. There we go. I knew it. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if I should be going that way. From where that monster just came from. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go... I'll go hmm, I'm not sure where to go at this point. Man, that was a bit creepy. Hmm. See, I feel like I'm supposed to go this way. I don't know why, though. Okay, but clearly I can't, so... Looks like I need to find a different route. Maybe... these doors are locked. Oh my gosh. Ooh, man. Okay, now I was like, this, this hasn't been scary at all yet. Well, now it is. I'm a little freaked out at this point. <laughs> a little bit. And we still have to play for a half hour. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, the whole reason I started doing these videos is because I absolutely hate horror. So... It's a way for me to get out of my comfort zone, yes, but also just... Because it fits the theme perfectly. I hate horror, but... One time a year, I will play a horror game just to experience it a little bit. But yeah, it's kind of funny. I, I say, you know, whenever I do these videos. I say. I wonder if, can I like make a route? I mean, everything did change when I went this way, so I, I guess I'm assuming I have to keep going the same way.
Okay, there's another note here. Um, I'll go ahead and grab that with... Multiple lacerations, chest cavity torn to shreds. Let's go, ooh. Okay. Must have been that monster type thing. All photos. Ooh, creepy. All right then. Oh gosh. Fuel. Not sure what I would need that for. Hmm. Geez, how did I miss that? Oh, great. Okay. Okay, we came from there. We kind of are going in circles at the moment. This is where the game started, so we need to go back this way. Well, I wonder, let's see if this will work. Um, Of course. Wouldn't be a horror game if... <laughs> if that thing didn't turn on right away. My gosh, dude. I hate this right now. I absolutely hate this. For me... These type of horror games are the ones that freak me out the most. The ones that are like survival oriented. With like really good environmental storytelling. Freaks me out so badly. Hey, let's go. Advancement. Achievement. Found the administrator's office. Oh man. Breathe easy. Rats and burnt corpses. Again, leave that one paused. Use this box for, for storing things from your inventory, okay? Petrol, highly flammable for use in the generator, can be poured, okay. So we're gonna need that for, which I'm assuming, you can save your progress by lighting this lamp, okay? Um, beautiful. Well, I guess we made it through the first part of the game. Again, I have no idea how long this game is, but I tell you, I will honestly tell you that when it comes to horror games, at least for me, the games feel like they go to that they take forever to complete. 
then again, I've only completed, I think, one, maybe two. I've completed Dead Space, the remastered version, and I've completed the Callisto Protocol. Okay, so we need to find a code for this somewhere. I'm guessing maybe that. No, I'm just gonna close this. Because I'm paranoid. Okay. Generator. Waste my last bullet on that guy. Fuel and fire. Do not fire any weapons near the field, for God's sake. If I know anything about horror games, it is that anytime you do something to progress the game, something goes badly. Or like you have to like What is this? Pocket watch. Oh, okay. Can be synced with the generator. Uh, okay. Can be synced with the generator to time how much fuel remains. Q free low. Oh, nice. 7488. Eight. That's going to be the code that we need. What the there is something glowing right here. Uh, let me go ahead and get out my fuel. Seven four eight eight. Seven four. Here we go. Perfect. You can overcome most optical obstacles multiple ways. Use your wits and your brains. Experiment. If you think something may be possible to do, you, it probably is. Okay. Every single time. Every single time. Oh, a stick. Okay.
Another note. How to get out of here. I have not seen another human for hours. I might be the last, but in the hope that there might be another, I leave this now so you do not waste any time. There is the, This is the only exit, the only way out of this hell of your own making. It was blown closed. It needs to be blown open. Don't bother digging. Impossible. Blow it up. The dynamite is locked in the arsenal. The detonator handle is somewhere down in the Roman tunnels, deeper in hell. I go now to try and retrieve them both, though I do not know if you exist. I pray for you. Please extend me the same courtesy. Okay. Objectives will be marked on your map. Okay. Well, so how do I pull out my map? No, that opens the inventory. Okay. Not too sure, but I'm sure we'll be okay. Um... Okay. What the heck did I just pick up? Meat. Can be thrown. Hmm. Interesting. So we need to get into there somehow. Okay, wait, does this make it lighter, or does, does going this way make it lighter? Yeah, it makes this hallway lighter. Dude, oh my gosh. When I hear that guy coming. It freaks me out so bad. Okay. Um, let me... Oh, a torch. Sure, I think that that will be useful at some point. Um, although I probably should have... Yeah, dang it. I probably should have saved that all so we could have... Crafted something to heal with. Ooh, a grenade. That's going to be really useful. Or a gas grenade. Um, I'm going to drop this. To pick that up. Beautiful. Okay, am I ready to go back out there? <sighs> Not really. But... really have a choice, do I? Okay. Okay, I think I've already been in here. Well, maybe not. No, I haven't. There's no way I've been in here before. So we got more photos, we got another note, Roman tunnel update, 
Engineers have broken through our storage area and into the old Roman tunnels. They are, as we thought, structurally sound, deep, and I confess I was skeptical of this last point. Inside the tunnel, we found urns, Latin texts. Okay. I was just seeing if... That was something that we needed to do. Okay. What is that? A flare. Ooh. Um. That might be pretty useful as well. What do I get rid of? Oh my gosh, man. Oh, this game is freaky. Oh, I heard it. Oh my gosh, man. I am freaked out. <laughs> I am absolutely freaked out right now. Get back down. Ooh, dude, I can hear it. I don't want to move. I don't I just want to lay here for the next 15 minutes so I don't have to play this game anymore. <laughs> no, be brave. Be brave, Kyle, be brave. Be brave. Oh my gosh, man. This game is freaky. I'm losing my mind here. I 1000% underrated this game. I'm so nervous to even move.
Hmm, there's no way for me to open this door. That I can think of right now. Well, never mind. There's absolutely no chance. But I will be finishing this game. But, <laughs> happy Halloween, I guess. Halloween special. Now, is this one of those games? Where if you get. Or if the, if the thing finds you, are you instantly dead? that sound I don't like it R Brian Run. Oh my gosh, dude. Can this hour end? Oh my gosh, man. Ten minutes. really don't think you want to get close to those those holes infirmary mess hall administration so The administration is where we saved. I don't think you've been up here yet, though. No, we have not. Unless we already were here. Get down. Oh my gosh, dude. 
<laughs> this is so freaky. I hate this so much. No! Don't do that, Kyle. I'm gonna lay here until I don't hear it anymore. Oh my gosh. I think I can still hear it. I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't hear it anymore. Wow. You know what? This might be one of the... scariest games I've played in this series so far. I mean, Scorn really wasn't that wasn't that scary. Just had really good environmental storytelling, which was I mean, it was kind of creepy, but not like too bad. Outlast 2 was definitely the scariest game I've played in in, in this series. But this one genuinely might be second. Or maybe even scarier than Outlast 2. I don't know though. They were both scary. I'm pretty sure that it was right there that not that long ago. Are we good to move? I don't know. I don't know if we're good to move. I'm so freaked out right now. Okay. Let me go ahead and... It requires a lighter to use. We don't have that yet. I think, I think we can move. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, well, I hope you are enjoying listening to me being absolutely terrified. Oh my gosh. Are we good to get out of here?
dude, I swear, every time I use my flashlight, I can hear it coming. Oh, I hate horror games. <laughs> I hate them. You're welcome. This was a good choice. Because when I played Scorn last year, the game just wasn't like super scary. So like I had more fun than actual, like was scared the whole time like I am with this game. So, these are definitely the games that I should be playing. The ones that are like really scary. Oh, I think we were already were here. Damn, I'm going in circles. Close that door. Again. And. Okay, so here's our map. This is the main map of the bunker. It will be updated with objectives and details as you progress. Okay. So. We are currently in administration right now and we need to get access to the arsenal and the soldiers quarters which we actually did get pretty close to we actually, I think we did get close to the um, arsenal door. We just weren't able to open it. Pardon me. And then... Soldier's quarters? I don't know if we got close to there. So I think if we come out of here... And go oh yeah there's literally a map right there so let's see since I did an since I did an intro we'll play for a few more minutes again I would love for nothing more than to be done but I keep my word Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so when you actually like that, it shows you what you have seen and what you have not been to yet. So we actually haven't really touched a ton of the map at the moment. Okay, but again, it looks like we need to go to... Try and get our way, find our way to mission storage. Okay, I think this is a safe area, so. We now need to make our way down there. But we have reached the hour time limit. I know that might have sound, felt like I was stalling, but I was honestly getting a feel for the map. Oh, now I can breathe. 
now I can breathe. Well, there we go, guys. That is going to do it for my third or fourth Halloween special episode. I will I will definitely be leaving, uh, creating a playlist of these videos and leaving them uh, in the description so you guys can watch some of my previous ones. Oh, man. Again, this, this was a scary game. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit freaked out for most of this video, minus like the first five minutes of that quick intro where you learn the controls and all that stuff. But... I mean, I, again, I don't think I'll be playing this game anymore, but if for whatever reason you want to see any more of this, uh, I may upload it over to my second channel, uh, Kyle for the Win 2, which is in the description of all of these videos. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this next Halloween special video. If you guys did enjoy it, I like it's always appreciated when I check out uh, my previous ones. As I mentioned, I will leave the previous one uh, at the end of the video for you guys to check out, as well as it will also be uh, linked down below within the playlist in the description. And I will see you guys all on a, another uh, video very soon.